the place that my my family let's see the place that my parents moved to in god what year is that i want to say it was like early 2001 i think maybe around like february of 2001 we uh we all moved to sunnyside <clears throat> and uh hang on <laughs> i'm kind of working at my mic level here mm -hmm. Um, so we moved to, uh, <clears throat> Sunnyside in 2001, and the house that we moved to had a basement like that, and it was, a, uh, it was just like a little, <clears throat> there was a door that went outside to the back, but directly across from that door was a stair, like a small staircase that went downstairs, and then once you were downstairs, it was just under the house with, like, uh, there might have been like a small concrete slab, uh, but that's where the washer and dryer were. It was like down there under the house. And it was just like nasty, damp and dark and shit all the time. And uh, I remember <clears throat> back when uh, my friend lived maybe a couple blocks away, he had come over and we did like a... Uh, uh, like an EVP session. We did an EVP session down there and we just, uh, we had a recorder and we just let it go. And uh, once we got back, we checked the tape and we weren't, uh, we weren't really listening to the whole thing. We were just watching the meter to see if, to see if anything moved it. And then we'd like go back and rewind it and then listen. Mm -hmm. And uh, we caught a really loud growl like a really loud one like super loud and long too like it was I want to say it was like a two second long growl wow yeah it was super loud it redlined the meter wow yeah and uh I remember when he saw it he was like holy shit it redlined I was like what and so we stopped it rewound it and uh played it back and sure enough it was just hideously loud growl just super super loud but we also had the microphones turned up way, way loud. Mm -hmm. Like the inputs were like, were at max. So we would capture anything that would have happened. And that's what we got. That's crazy. But hang on, yes. just a little background of that place. Uh, that place was right across, not even like we shared the, the same parking lot as a funeral home, the funeral home in Sunnyside. So we shared that same parking lot with uh, probably many, many, many spirits that, that live there, I'm sure. That would be amazing. So I'm sorry. I, I like, you know, I would love to live either out in the middle of nowhere or next to a cemetery. This how more quiet can you get? I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Um... But I was going to tell you, I wish I would have done something like that at my mom's house that she lived in Nina Gap. Um, you mean the e the EVP session? Yeah. It's just because the one time I was and I was there by myself, um, I don't know where they were, but I was waiting for them to come back. And so I was just be like, oh, I'm going to be here for a few hours. So get comfortable. Right. Might as well. Mom's house. Right. So I'm getting comfy. And I kept hearing, like, this really weird knocking sound. But I didn't hear it all the time. So I thought it was, like, the dogs or something. You know, it was enough for me to be like, what the hell are those dogs doing? And, then like, just ignore it. It was coming from outside? It was coming from towards the back of the house. Um, so the trap door to the cellar is and was in the laundry room. Okay. Which had that door... And then it's like kitchen, dining, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, so I kept hearing something over there, and that's where the dogs were. So I just figured it's damn dogs. And then I I don't know. I was like I went over there and I put the dogs outside, and then forgot about the dogs to be honest because they all shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm like sitting on the couch. 
And then I'm just like, oh, okay, da, 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 da. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. So I go to the bathroom, and it's always in the goddamn bathroom for me. So I'm in the bathroom, and mind my own business, of course. I'm by myself, house is alone. <laughs> All the doors and everything are locked. And I heard a dragging sound, and then the knocks. Um, go across the wall in front of me, which would be bedroom one, the first bedroom that you that you'd see, right? That, yeah. That's where that wall is shared. Uh huh. And I remember thinking, huh, did somebody come home? So I'm listening, you know, and then I can hear sounds in the kitchen. And that's really weird because the door to the bathroom, like, literally shones out into the living room. So, like, if somebody passes through, you would see it on the bottom of the door. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's weird. So, I get done, wash my hands, go out out there, and I start looking. I'm like, who's here? Let me check outside. Let me do this, (laughs) you know. Nobody's there. I go into that bedroom one. Nothing. I'm like, okay. So then I go towards the kitchen. I'm like, well, maybe they came in through the back because there's a place to park, you know, back there and whatever. And there's nothing. And all those fucking dogs would have been barking. (coughs) Excuse me. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't too comfortable because some other stuff had happened to me in there and I wasn't too comfortable anymore. So how long ago was this? This was... Right before my mom moved out um, and left, so about five years ago. Okay, so pretty recently then. Five years ago, yeah. Okay. And that is also the house where she said that that thing, that thing was waiting for her outside. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, uh, I remember she was telling us about that. It's like a... I don't know what you would call it. It's, it's basically like it's a, it's a demon. It's a demon thing. But a it's, demon thing. It is like a giant owl, but it's not an owl. Right. It's a creature. Oh man. Okay. And there's a lot of stories where a big ass bird, owl looking thing, uh-huh. takes you and just takes you to fucking purgatory. Off you go. Okay. Okay. I, I've seen, I swear to God, I've seen this thing twice. Oh, shit. That's not good. <laughs> Excuse me. I've been in the woods with you? You never told me that shit. When I was a kid. Yeah. When I was a kid, I've seen it twice. Oh. Once flying over my head in the middle of the night. Oh, shit. It was really big. It, it looked like a person with wings. Yeah. It looked like that. Yeah. Okay. It's massive. Uh... And like, you've you've been out to the country, right? When they have like the, the 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 big light poles that oh, yeah. you know, that light up yeah. your your mm-hmm. yard, or whatever. Okay, so it was about it was flying about that height overhead. Mm-mm. So it was big. Yeah. And then I I I've told you about the time that I came across that one owl out in the uh, in the yeah out in the field. Yeah. That that was the weirdest fucking shit. Like, it still scares me to this day to think about that. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, but, uh... (laughs) I guess welcome to the podcast. (laughs) (laughs) I feel, like, uncomfortable silence. Um, but no, yeah, I guess this podcast is going to be dedicated to weird stories. Um, we'll also talk about the, uh, about the writing, um, and the new story, The Lighter, that I just put out. Um, but we'll also talk about Across the Creek Part 3, but right now we're talking about weird fucking shit that we've experienced in our life, and, uh, so strap in, this should be fun. Okay, um, so I'm gonna finish the owl story, I'll try to make it quick. Uh, so, okay, when I was a kid, I want to say maybe I was about 10, 10 or 11 years old, I was, uh, I would always play outside, so I was outside 
walking in between cornfields, there was like a service road where they would do like irrigation and stuff. Um, but I would always go out there and just walk and do my own thing. Um, so 10 year old me walking out because there was a tree way out in the way out at the end of this, uh, at the end of this field, uh, the service road. So it was a walnut tree. Um, and so I would go out there and it was, it was a nice little spot. It was like a grassy little place where you can just sit and enjoy the nature outside, you know? So, uh, I was, that's where I was going. And when I got close to it, uh, there were pheasants, uh, there's usually pheasants out there. And when you walk close to them, they take off and they scare the crap out of you. But like these ones, they weren't taking off. They were just like running along alongside me on the ground. And I was like, what the hell? This is really weird. Why aren't they flying? So I kept walking and uh, I was looking at the ground and I saw uh, pheasant eggs broken around the tree. <laughs> and I was still looking at the ground and not looking up. And I should have been looking up because I heard like this really loud and deep like chicken clucking. That's, that's as close as I can like describe it. And I looked up and like staring me in the face was this huge owl, like huge owl. Like he was as tall as I was and his eyes were huge, like huge. Uh, let me see if I can think of uh, as big as like baseballs, not softballs, but baseballs. His eyes were that big and looking straight at me like big big yellow eyes and this owl was like I mean I'm sure it was like puffing itself up to make itself look bigger and it could have been just a normal ass owl you know but it scared the crap out of me I, I, I remember I didn't run home but I walked as fast as I could <laughs> I didn't want to run because I did I thought that that might provoke it to chase me so I just walked as fast as I could and I got home <laughs> I made it to the door. I remember making it inside. And I was like, holy shit, I'm so glad I made it home without dying. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that thing was, like, right behind me the whole way. Yeah. Oh, man. But, yeah, so, yeah, that happened. I'm sure that the owl was, like, mind-boggled. Like, what an amazing day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I interrupted him having breakfast or something. Something. You probably would have thought it was amusing. <laughs> Not for me, man. That, that scared the shit out of me. Yeah. Oh, man. Have you ever been lost in a cornfield? Uh, no, I kept out of cornfields. Um, I know that some of my cousins and stuff would play in them. Because my grandma's house in Toppenish is right up against cornfields man but no thank you yeah them getting lost in a cornfield you, you'd think it would be as easy as just uh picking a direction and going but i don't know sometimes when you're uh when you're lost you get you're disoriented you really do you do and you start to panic because you don't know where the fuck to go yeah i've definitely been um out in like the woods with some people and you can tell they get start getting hysterical when they think that they're lost and I'm like what are you talking about we've been, we've been going like this even if it's been a little wiggly to like you know get around some big rocks or whatever it's basically in one direction right yeah like we didn't turn around we didn't make a hard left or a hard right like there's nothing nothing to worry about man let me take this up but um so what do you think about the the people that are that they keep dying keep dying in the water oh um out here in the rivers and stuff yeah i you know <laughs> i've i think i've been out on one of those things once in my life like uh, on a inner tube or something like that so i don't know i don't really see the appeal i mean i i guess it would be cool but what were they were they inner tubing or were they just out swimming? Um, I think some of them were out inner tubing and some of them were just out swimming. Well, the problem with the inner tubers is that most of them go out there and they go out and get drunk, yeah. and you can't really swim that well when you're drunk. 
No, and, and you're been out in the heat all day. Yeah, you're gonna amplify stuff. Yeah, it's not a good, it's not a good combo. So in terms of like swimming, I mean, I think people just lose track of the fact that there's current. Yeah. There's a lot of current out there, and even if you think you know what's going on, like what you see on top of the water is totally going to be different from what's going on under the water. Yeah, definitely. Man, that's scary shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, because I grew up around here and never once did my parents go like, oh, that roped off section, you'll be so safe as long as you stay in that, you know. They never told you that? No, they'd be like, that's for the people with boats. <laughs> like you, that's for people with boats. So they know that that's where the people are so they don't hit you. And there's holes and there's seaweed and there's rocks out there. And so I was always getting yelled at to be extra careful and to pay attention and to pay attention <laughs> around me. Because if some people are standing and they're up higher and some people are standing <clears> and they're down lower, that means that there's a hole in the middle. Oh, yeah. My parents were really sweet about what I need to be focusing on when I was out in the water. Wow. It's probably why I don't swim, because I'm just like, uh-uh, that's how you die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, because, oh, yeah, did, just because it says that you can swim there doesn't mean that you're not, like, nothing's going to happen to you. Right. Well, yeah. It just means that it's okay for you to swim there. Well, I mean, if you don't know how to swim, you shouldn't be in there in the first place. Oh, I've been. I know. Far in. I understand that, but I'm just saying, like, if you don't know how to swim and you're in the water, you shouldn't be surprised if you drown. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I, when I was in the water and I was sinking the depths. <laughs> <laughs> you should be like, yes, I wasn't, this is my fate. I wasn't surprised. What I was surprised about was that I wasn't breathing in the water. My body, instinctually, I do not know because I was mentally thinking, wow, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I'm not choking. How did I know? Wow. No, <laughs> to, you weren't. How, no, I'm being serious. You I'm, were thinking, wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, because I'm looking around and everyone said, you're just, you'll just go under and then you'll pop back up. Okay. So I was waiting for the pop back up part to happen. And it never happened. It didn't happen. And I remember looking around and I kept seeing it getting darker and more green and then darker green. <laughs> <laughs> and it just kept getting darker. Oh, shit, man. And I was like, I don't think I'm going to pop back up. And then I was thinking, how am I not drowning right now? Because I <laughs> somehow my body <laughs> forced me to hold my own breath. I had how no idea I that I had, right now. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea that I had that capability <laughs> in me to not drink all of the fish water. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. Stop. Hang on. I'm going to try to put that into a character. Like a character who's in the underwater and they've never experienced water before. No. <laughs> they're wondering why they're not drowning. Yes. So they're like... How? What? Why am I not drowning right now? I'm serious. <laughs> that was going through my mind. I was... I was getting mind blown under the water. Oh, shit. And then <laughs> that, there's more thoughts in the sinking process. Okay, okay. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to pop back up. Hmm. So I start looking down because that's what you do when you're drowning. You start looking into what is going to be your grave, I guess. So I'm looking all the way down and I see my legs and I see my feet. And I wiggle my toes because <laughs> it felt so weird, too. Never been in the water like that ever. Not by choice. And I'm looking down and wiggling my toes. And I'm like, "Ooh, I shouldn't do that because the fish will think that they're yummy. So I stopped wiggling my toes. And then, then I started to freak out. 
because then I realized I'm going deeper down and I'm going to see some goddamn fish. Okay. And then the life jacket stra- s- strap yeah. started going in my face because I'm going down, so it's going Wait, in my face. Wait, you had a life jacket on? Yeah, and I wasn't popping up. That's why I was waiting for it. Whoa. No, yeah, you should have you should have yeah. totally been coming up. Meanwhile, all these thoughts are going on and this is what's happening underwater. Everybody on the boat is starting to panic. Starting. Because they were waiting for me to pop up. And I never did. Whoa. So they were like, wait a minute, where did she go? Right. Because we were inner <clears> tubing. <throat> oh crap. So yeah. So like, you weren't in a boat? No. You were just on an inner tube. Yeah, and, and you s- Whoa. Were you on the river? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. So how did they get you out? Oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm explaining oh, okay. the story. Okay. Jesus Christ. And, <laughs> and uh, so now I'm, now I'm starting to panic because I'm thinking about big ass fucking fish. I'm in the Columbia River. Right. And I'm thinking about big fish. Yes. And then the strap to the life jacket starts to get in my face because I'm sinking down. And I thought it was a fish. And that got me kicking. And I popped up. Okay. If it wasn't for that fucking strap, I don't know if I'd be alive. But that was what made me pop up. Because I was like, shit, it's a fish. (laughs) I am fighting for my life right now. And, well, yep, and I popped up, and people freaked out, because I wasn't even close to where they were for the boat. So I popped up, like, way onto the other side. Like, they were surprised that I popped up over there from where they were looking. Yeah. Yeah. So you managed to pop up, though? I did pop up. Okay. And once I was up, then the life jacket started working. I see. It wasn't working. That's fucking weird, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was the last time I was fully submerged in water. Well, I wonder if that's... I wonder if you were, like, sucked in, like, f- with the undertow. I wonder if that's why you weren't popping up. Because, like, that life jacket should have should have done something. And it's more than possible that the river has a lot of undercurrent in it. Yeah. There's yeah, a lot does. of whirlpools. There's a lot of weird divots and pockets and holes down there that cause stuff to happen definitely with the current that's why that's why it's so dangerous and if you have kids you're stupid (laughs) for putting them in the water yeah don't put your kids in the river without without like a tow line or like some kind of something i've been in the water and you're lying if you think that that's the wave it's the fucking current you can feel it pull you and when you get out there deep enough So I'm like, what, 5'3"? If I get out there to, like, chest, upper chest level, I can feel it trying to suck me in. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You feel the pull. So if you're swimming, I don't swim. But if I was, you know, more buoyant in the water, Mm -hmm. it, it would have no problem just taking me off if I didn't have the upper body strength to swim back to shore. It's very true. And that's and it's cold as hell. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, it's like I mean that try water deep, comes straight to get from a, the mountain. Like try to get a full lung full of air in cold ass water like that, you can't do it. Has any cuz it's so cold. Does do you know how long it takes from for water to get from the mountain? To, like, to us right here. Like, how long does that take for from that water to get there to here? I'm not sure. I wonder. It can't be very long. I mean, that stuff is constantly moving at a very fast speed. Yeah. So, like, it has to be within, like, hours? Maybe. A couple of hours? A few hours. And that water is freezing fucking cold. So Maybe yeah, I mean, a it's, few it's, hours. I think it would take like a, a few days. Yeah, it's. Oh, you think so? A few days. Like from, I don't like, know. from mountain streams. Well, I have my phone here. Let's see if I can <sighs> look up some information here. But that water is cold. And it's cold because it's just so deep. Yeah. 
Uh, you know what? I don't. I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna look that There's, up. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of. <laughs> and then you got, you have freaking these blocks out there, these building block things, because they had something there. You have um, the cables. There's cables down there. Oh, down, uh, you, you're talking about in the river. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the mines. Did you ever see the mines? Yeah, there, there's. they found some mines. Like World War II mines? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the ones that, like, float underwater. Like, they're on chains, you know? You've seen them in the movies. And they're always, like, covered in, like, seaweed and shit. That's, that's down in the uh, Columbia River. So uh, keep that in mind when the next time you're uh, definitely have found some of that going through there. down there. Yeah. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff that you have to be careful with your feet. Oh um, yeah. I got some sensitive ass feet, so. <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> some kidding. people don't. I don't know. I don't know, man. You can't fucking touch my feet. Like I'm the only one who can touch my feet. Anybody else touches them, they're gonna get kicked in the face. Uh, I cannot. Yeah, I can't. No. I don't know. So, scary story. What? What? Oh, scary stories, right. That's what we're here for. Okay. Um, what do you got? So why don't you talk about what happened to you a couple days ago from here? Oh, you mean the sounds? Yeah. The sounds that I heard? Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I don't want to get it too far into it. I, I'll just say that... Um, okay, so we had a shot glass <clears throat> that I had, I had cleaned and set on my dish rack. And I think I just used it for water. Yeah, I just had water in it. And anyways, I cleaned it and set it on my dish rack. And uh, there was uh, something on my, on my table and I was sitting here on the couch and I heard the shot glass fall off of the dish rack which there's no way it could have fallen because it was perfectly in a groove. Like it wasn't moving. It was solid there, but I heard it fall off of the dish rack and into the sink. It didn't break, but it, it landed in the sink. And then shortly after that, something hit uh, something on my coffee table in front of me. I don't know what it was, but it sounded like glass, like something had thrown something and hit a, a, a glass, like my coffee mug or something like that. It was just like a ting sound, like right in front of me on my coffee table. And I didn't see anything that was thrown, so something hit something on my coffee table, and then the uh, the shot glass fell off of the, uh, the dish rack. But that's not the only things that I've seen here. I've seen other shit. The, um... um... The last time I was blow drying my hair, I had to, I blow dry my hair in the guest. There are yeah, our guest bathroom. Um, and I'm in there, and I kept seeing. Uh, I keep seeing like a a light flash. On my right, so if I'm staring at the mirror. It's on my right hand side, which is literally right between um, me and like maybe what's like six inches of space, maybe a foot of space before we get to like the shower. Yeah, maybe a foot. Give maybe, or take, yeah, you know. something like that. Um, I kept seeing that there, and I was just like, oh, "That's annoying." I'm like, "I'm just gonna ignore it," which is what I did. And it kept getting more, I kept getting more uncomfortable, kind of like I shouldn't have just not been in the bathroom at that time, mm -hmm. basically, like I was being annoying. Right. And it kept getting more erratic, and then it got really big, and like, I want to say it made me move. Because I felt like I was going to get, like, bumped into the face by something that I didn't know. Right. So I was just like, ugh. And when I backed up a little bit, because I was like, Jesus Christ. And I turned, and it just went, like, all... It went up, 
and then it went straight down, and then I saw it go in the shower stall, but the shower curtain's up, so I can't see what's on that side, but the whole curtain was moving. Hmm. The curtain was moving like I had a fan on, and I did not have a fan on. Right, there's no fan in there. No. <clears throat> what the fuck? And when was this? The last time that I blow dried my hair, which I think was like Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Wow. Because I try not to blow dry it all the time. And um, Poe, I opened the door and called Poe to go in there with me. <laughs> I mean, he, for, for a couple of days there, he was following me around and like pretty... I don't know, like, it was his job. <laughs> and he, he does that. Yeah, yeah, he does that, like, randomly. And that was the one time that he was like, oh, you're fine. And I was like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he, like, he went in there with me and just watched. Yeah, no, he, uh, he goes through, like, protective spells where he's... All he wants to do is just be, like, your guard dog. But mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't really... <laughs> I, I hate to tell him, but I don't really see the point of his of his guard dog duties because he's just a little a little French bulldog <laughs> like he couldn't bite you even if he wanted to I don't know look at that French that French bulldog that you know ran off that bear yeah but it didn't even it didn't attack the bear and bears are kind of dumb like it probably didn't even know what it was it was probably like I don't I've never seen that thing before and I don't know what it's capable of so I'm gonna leave eh, I'm just saying it's just one of those things where some people think he looks mean, and it's not that he's mean at all. He's quite a sweetie, but... He is very sweet. Yeah, there's sometimes where he just doesn't like somebody. <laughs> we have seen that. Yeah. Well, I've never seen it, but I've heard about it. Where he just doesn't care for somebody. I can I can tell by his face. And I wonder if, he, if it's me... <laughs> if I'm like rubbed off on him, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I don't know. Cause I'm always like, "Fuck that person, god damn it!" And then like, <laughs> then my dog is like looking at them like, "Fuck you." <laughs> Judgmental. Oh my god, sorry. That's. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen him uh, do go ballistic, but I've heard of him doing it. Oh yeah, he hates the upstairs neighbor. He hates them. He doesn't like that guy. I, I thought he was gonna actually try to bite him. Mm. Um, he did not like him behind me mm, at all. Stomach is making noises. <laughs> so, what did you want? Oh, um, there was a okay something very specific. So yeah, we we hinted at the last uh, Sunday podcast, which this is not a Sunday podcast, and I apologize for that. But it's uh, we had. Um, Father's Day on Sunday, so we were unavailable. Anyways, um, so we're doing it today, and the last podcast we hinted at something that I had to cut off because it was part of part three in the story, which we hadn't we hadn't uh, had yet. I hadn't made I hadn't made it yet. So now that it's out and it's been heard. I can, we can talk about this other part. So it had to do with the light uh, coming out of the forest. And while that didn't actually happen there, it is based on reality. And uh, excuse my stomach noises, they're kind of weird right now. But anyways, um, I just wanted to elaborate on on that uh, because that is something that, that we have personally experienced and uh and yeah we're gonna talk about it so you've experienced it first before me so uh kind of explain the origin or like your first experience with this with this uh anomaly no i never experienced it no no oh it was was just with me yeah oh shit i mean i i've experienced unexplainable lights yeah for sure okay but that experience with you in the woods was very unique and totally not experienced before. Okay. So, uh, I have 
or had. I haven't been able to do it since we've moved back and obviously we are in a different area than previously. Right. We were in Texas and now we are in Washington, but we were from Washington originally. Right. So there's, um, before we moved to Texas and come back, we lived closer to actually wooded area. So I could be there like within like what, 30 minutes give or take, depending on where I was going. Yeah. But minimum but, 30 minutes, yeah. and I would hit some sort of forest. Yes. At least. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, I used to go out there all the time, alone, and I had a lot of stuff going on. So, when I get, like, in distress, or angry, or whatever, I used to go up into the woods and just spent hours out there just, you know, relaxing and thinking my thoughts and whatever. So I was used to going out there in, in the middle of the night quite often. Like, middle of the night, early morning, complete darkness, and, like, just being out there. Dumb. I know. But whatever. <laughs> I felt like... I felt like... I had done enough to gain some sort of respect with some sort of spirits out there, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I never felt like I was ever in danger when I was out there. So I took you out there one night because I wanted to share it. Yeah. I was like, no, 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 look, it's like... Look at this. Look what I have. I want you to see what the feel of it and how I appreciate it and how it makes me feel to be surrounded by complete darkness and all you see is a slightly brighter dark and it's like sky. Mm -hmm. And you hear creaks and animal sounds and, you know, you hear the trees making all their noises that they do that you can't you can only hear when you're out in the in the mountains. And I don't know what you thought. <laughs> you <laughs> taking you out to some place with like nothing going on. Well, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> no, nah, now I think about it. It sounds a little creepy. No, it's not creepy. It's just I don't know. It, I'm familiar with it. Like I've experienced it a lot. Like, growing up, we would go camping all the time, and I always found myself either alone in the woods or um, just somewhere by myself. Because, I don't know, I didn't really like to be around a lot of people because they were noisy and I just... Dirty. Yeah, well, maybe not dirty. I mean, I was around people. I, I interacted with people, but I enjoyed being by myself most of all. Because I could just have it to myself, you know? Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, being alone in the dark in the woods, just looking up at the sky, where all you can see is, like, the tree cover, mm -hmm. and then, like, stars and yeah. shit. Yeah, that's, well, like, I love that. yeah, it's, uh, it's awesome. So, like, when you took me out there, I definitely appreciated it. It was not, it wasn't a place I'd, I was familiar with, though. So it was a little bit, I was a little uneasy, like, okay, this is cool, but, like, where the fuck are we? <laughs> but I, I knew where we were, though, because we'd been out there before during the day, just not at night. Right. Yeah. It was a different place at night. Very different. Yeah. So, like, one of the few times that I took him out there, because I didn't take him past that point yet, just because there's more, but just to, for him to get associated, I only took him to a certain point, and that would be it. And, um, so we're out there and we're sitting in the car and it's cold. There's no snow or anything yet, but it was definitely cold. Was there snow? No. No, it was just cold. Yeah, it was just cold. Just cold. And so we were staying in the car and I was looking off because I'm on the driver's side, so I'm looking off on my side, like, straight out the windshield. And you just see, like, 
all well, I mean, there's a little like grassy area and everything, but all you see from that viewpoint is just a wall of trees that are further away. And there's a ridge behind us. So when you look at your mirror, you don't see, you just see black on that side. There's nothing out there. There's no, the only light I think that's out there is by the porta potty. If there's going to be a light, that's where it's going to be. There's nothing else out there. The porta potty. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's probably one of the cleanest. It's not really a porta potty, though. It's like a, it's like a restroom. It's a restroom. It's like. It's just a forest restroom. Yeah, it's just like, hey, for your convenience, here this is. It's like a permanent porta potty. But, I mean, you have, like, <laughs> you know, the pick of the bathrooms out there. I don't, I don't understand. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's just me. Um, I would rather go in the, in the woods than sit on some forest potty. I don't know. <laughs> and. So, I mean, and then, like, that little area, there's a little grassy, so it drops down, and then there's, like, grassy area, and then it goes off to the left. So, far, far, far away, because you can see how it, it's kind of, like, clears out a little bit, and there's, like, a stream, and it keeps going, and then there's more trees. There's trees everywhere, but, you know, there's pockets where there's no trees. And you, I kind of saw a bright object, but I just thought it was somebody bullshitting around. Like, I didn't, I don't know. I was just like, yeah, whatever. Because mm-hmm. I mean, people do go out there. Right. And like hunt and stuff. So I wasn't thinking too much of it and I just ignored it. And you were sitting there and I think you saw it, but he was watching it. Yeah. So I had no I had no idea what else was going on because I was looking in the other direction. Right. So what did you notice? Well, um So I thought I was looking at a UFO or something like that. It looked like it was <clears throat> At first it looked like it was like a like it could be a satellite. Or something like that. I don't know if we were saying the same thing. Because I was seeing something that was like... It looked like a plane or a satellite or something. Something that had a I, light. At the time, they weren't that big of a deal. Uh-huh. But I... Now, looking back on it, it kind of resembled like a drone. Okay. Type of a thing. Yeah. But I don't think drones were around back then. Well, even if it was... What would it be doing out in the dark forest? Right, I had thought about that. Like, yeah. I, I was thinking about it, because he pointed it out to me every now and then, because it was bugging him. So the more he was pointing it out, the more I was thinking about it. And I was thinking of what it could be. Because I, I was going to the woods all the time. Yeah. And I had never seen anything like that out there. Right. And when she says he, she's talking about me. <laughs> just, just to clarify. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I, it looked like it was like something like a drone that was like weaving in and out of the trees, but it was going like way, way up into the sky and then coming back down, like doing this. I don't know, some weird bullshit. I don't know, like fucking flying around in the sky around this section of forest. That's what I saw. So what I saw. When it got significantly closer, because by this time, you were kind of panicking. He, he was panicking and freaking out. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. And I was trying to keep as calm as possible because he was, if it was up to him, I think we would have been out of there a lot sooner and probably crashed with how quickly he wanted us out of there. We needed to get out of there. And I looked over... And I had been paying attention to it at that point because I was watching it from the last time that he told me to look at it to when he started panicking. And I'm looking over and I have to like, you know, shift forward to look around onto the right side of the car, the windows. And to me, it looked like a really bright light. It looked like one of those, like, 
heavy duty, you know, this lights up my whole backyard country lamps. You know what I mean? Yeah. It looked like one of those where they make that horrible buzz sound. Yeah, and where did you see this? It, that's that thing that you're saying that oh, you're talking yeah. about. Okay. That's what it reminded me of. I thought you were talking about you saw something else. I no, thing I'm talking okay. about your shit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> so that's what it reminded me of. Except there's no lights out there. No. There's nothing out there that high going through the treetops. I've never seen anything out there lighting up anything like that. No. And it was bright because I could see it lighting up pine trees very dramatically. So it was super bright and then all of a sudden everything around it was super black because there was no light sources out there. Right. And when I was looking at it, it was going side to side. So it was going gently, like a little weird U, like gently going down and up. And then it would go down and up. And I could see it lighting up the trees differently when it was moving. And it was at a very consistent speed making its way in our direction. Huh. And I think that's when you started panicking. Mia? Yeah. I was... I, like, was... I wasn't thrilled about it. But I definitely did not know what the fuck that was. Was what? it stormy that day? It wasn't, right? No. It was clear sky. No, it was clear. That's right. Okay. It was cold. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. I really don't. No. Yeah. I still don't know. But anyways, that, uh, that light um, was kind of the inspiration for the uh, the light coming out of the forest in Across the Creek. It, uh, like, it wasn't, uh, you know, it didn't happen the way it happened in the story, of course. But I had to make it a little more dramatic. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what that light was. I don't know what it was, what, what it actually was. was. Um, anyways, so yeah, that's uh, that's what that was. And uh, well, I mean, that's also like the canyon thing. The canyon thing. We, we, we saw that really weird object um, up in the sky above the canyon. I don't remember this. Like it was iridescent almost. It was like. Was this the time that there, we? There, but not there. Is this the time we stopped? Before we moved? No, this was... You were yelling at me because you were, like, looking up at the sky. Oh, man, I don't remember this. Oh, Jesus. No, I really don't. I forgot about it. Yeah. That was weird, too, though. We were we were just going on a, a day walk through the canyon. Hmm. And... There was... It kind of looked like it was a kite. And so it would be, like, there, and then all of a sudden it would just, like, disappear. Hmm. But it looked like a really shiny metal. Weird. And it was in the sky? Yeah. And it kept, like, disappearing what the on fuck? us. It was very creepy. And you showed it to me, and I was like, well, that's not cool. And then... Because, <laughs> like, he always got to show me shit that I'm... I'm, I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> I am right. not alien friendly. I yeah. do not want to ever see anything from not this planet like that. If there's ever a moment where I feel like I would just have to commit suicide, that probably would be it. <laughs> if, if you found out that the <laughs> aliens are real. <laughs> I just can't. I just can't. So I'm out here trying to like walk and, you know, get some exercise. It's hard to get me out in the sunlight. And that first thing, what's that? Is it an alien? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man, I don't remember this, but this is awesome. And, like, in the, in, the, in the canyon, like, your car isn't parked close by. It's a canyon. You have 
to walk any distance that you walk away from your car, you got to make it back. Oh, and we were not close to the car. The canyon. You're yes. talking about the Ellensburg Canyon? The canyon. Where's freaking What's-Her-Face took me all drunk to go walking to the the canyon. Oh, that place. I've only been there once. And I don't, really don't remember that at all. Probably blocked it out of your memory I think from so. a crazy alien I th- I think so. kite thing flying up in the sky. Yep, nope, I don't remember. Because, yeah, no. That, uh, yeah, that was a pretty stupid experience. Yeah. If I do say so. <laughs> I, I hate to say that, and I, I don't mean I don't want to like, talk about that. Okay. That's not what we're Let's talking about. Let's not talk about that, then. <laughs> I don't know why you brought that one up. Well, you brought it up. I, I'm telling you the location. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. not trying to tell you what memory to choose. Okay, I'm okay. Just... Well, we're, gonna, we're not going to talk about it. Anyway. Anymore, so. Yeah, no, it's gone. But, same canyon. I have been... I was in driving. I was passenger, and I think I was pretty drunk because I was being all like, hee 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 hee, like looking. I was laying down as we were driving, and I was laying down laughing, looking up through the window on the passenger side, and I saw lights. I saw super bright lights, and they were there. And then they were sucked out of the sky, so to speak. (laughs) Because when a light turns off, you know how they just, like, turn off? Or if you pass by something and, like, they, like, you know, they fly by. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they didn't do that shit. (laughs) They got super small, super fucking fast, and they were gone. Huh sucked out of the sky like literally like it went in that direction completely up weird yeah wow yeah I don't know how else to explain that Uh, that's how that worked you were drunk fucking canyon but you've you've seen me when I'm drunk I'm not a stupid drunk that's true that's true you are not I know everything that I'm doing yeah you are very uh, I'm yeah yeah you're very aware I'm a good drunk a good drunk <laughs> I'm uh, forgive me I'm gonna move my microphone just a minute I know that's bad form but I'm gonna After do it anyways he has twiddled those knobs no I'm no the knobs are fine I'm not gonna move of everything and he's moving the microphone I'm moving the microphone and I'm gonna hear about it later no. when he's re-editing this and he's gonna be like I should have moved that microphone <laughs> screwed up on my settings that's not gonna happen <laughs> that's what's gonna happen <laughs> <laughs> it's like you live with some asshole or something <laughs> It's the creative side, the creativity that ebbs out. There's a dark side to it that nobody knows about. No, no, dark side. There's always a dark side. Oh, I think people know. Like, look at a lot of the famous artists. It's true. It's true. They were all crazy. Yeah, those people, they, they don't have problems because they're famous. They have problems because they're artists. Trust me. It's true. This just went real dark, real fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it's true. It's true. The art, um, the art pulls shit out of you, and you have to replace it with other things. And I'm moving the microphone again, so please forgive mm-hmm. me. There, now it's back to normal, back to where it was. Sure. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. The art, it it takes st- something from you, and you have to put it back. Like your your body still needs that that shit that was there. You got to put it back because you still have to put it out. You, it's a constant cycle. It's a constant cycle. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Some people have learned to balance it pretty well, and some people don't really uh, don't really know how to do that. And uh, they suffer for it. But, uh, so it happens. I don't know. I, I don't know. I kind of knew what sort of balancing act I was going to be in for. Hmm. It's a weird one. From the the very start. It's a weird one. 
I don't know, man. It's a weird game that I'm, <laughs> that I'm playing, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Because um, if you're, okay, if you're listening to this and you're familiar with my writing, you probably don't know that I also have a music career <laughs> that, that, I've, uh, that I've done for about 20 years. So I have that. Um, and I released an album last year of what, what 16 songs, Six, yeah. a 16 song album. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, so I did that last year. Um, and I've been writing as well. So yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot that I do. Um, and yeah, I have a full plate as far as the stuff in my brain goes. And then there's still, there's still even more that I wish I could do. I just don't have time for it. And I wish I had time to do everything that I wanted to do, but um, I have to kind of like pick and choose what I do. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's it. That's kind of what happens. But anyways, enough about that. We are talking about weird shit. So let's see. What other kind of weird shit? Okay, um... So we talked about the forest, the inspiration for that, uh, for the light in the in the forest. So um, we were talking about spirits earlier, and it made me think of all the shit. Because I, I told you that we did the the EVP session in my basement. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, his name is Jesse. Is Jesse? I said his name was Jesse, like he's dead. He's not dead. <laughs> his his name is Jesse, and uh, we used to we used to go ghost hunting all the time, um, and we uh, do um, EVP sessions and just kind of like observe weird shit happening. Because he lived across the street from a school that was a school that was uh, known to be haunted, which was um, in Sunnyside. So he lived uh, across the street from the school, and we were. I was staying at his house one night and it was the middle of the night because we were teenagers and we were like, we're invincible and we're going to stay up 24 hours. So I would go to his house on Friday night. We would stay up Friday night, all of Saturday. And then we'd end up crashing sometime on Sunday. Like we'd go home Sunday being awake since Friday night. And I'd go home and crash Sunday afternoon sometime. So, anyways, on Saturday night, I believe, we were uh, we were awake. I don't know what we were doing. Probably just, like, uh, playing guitar or something like that, because that's what we did. And um, we were walking outside, and we looked at the school, and there were fucking shadows just moving across the school like big tall shadows flowing across the at the exterior of the school and going towards the front because we uh, he lived where you could see the back of the school not the front of the school so we were seeing the shadows come out of the back of the school and flow towards the front of the school and at first we were like what the fuck is that we were thought maybe there was sprinklers or something like playing with the lights or something like that but the sprinklers weren't on it was just Shadows moving across the uh, the building. That was really fucking weird. Hmm. Yeah. That is strange. Mm-hmm. We may have even summoned a demon. I'm not going to get into 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 too many demon uh, details. <laughs> too many demons. Too many demons. <laughs> yeah. No. I think we we I think we probably did summon a demon. Um. Probably in the summer of 1999. <laughs> Interesting year. <laughs> yes. That was the last good year um, of my childhood. There was a. I don't want to. No, I don't want to say too don't, much. Why, why are you talking about it? <laughs> because it was it was an interesting experience that I remember. Mm-hmm. If you want to talk about demons. Yes. <laughs> I think. What do you got? I have a, I have a weird theory that we have. I think we're seeing two. Or experiencing two separate things. Oh, in, oh. In, in our place. Yes. Um, I feel like my my thing is a little bit darker than your thing. Oh. Yeah? 
so there's there's a lot of times. Not so much now that I that we moved to bed, but there's a lot of times where I will like wake up and I'm half expecting to see something staring at me. Oh yeah. Um That's creepy. <laughs> and I get like like a weird mental image of what I should be expecting. And it is most definitely not a, a spirit thing. Mm. Not not a ghost, you mean, and not not a human spirit. Right. I see. Yeah. Okay. So I do get that. I I haven't mentioned it, but I I don't get it that often. Um. But that also is what pops in my mind when it keeps playing with my hair. Oh. That's great. Which is something totally different than what I had experienced in the bathroom earlier with the white flashes. That white flashy thing, it does not give me the same vibes as the other one. What if you could... This is going to sound terrible. And please <laughs> don't, don't uh, think less of me for saying this. But what if you could communicate with your demon and be like, okay, yes... I'll do whatever it is you want me to do, but in return, you got to make sure that you keep me alive. Like, like make sure that I can't die so I can continue to serve you. <laughs> like, could you, could you come to, like, terms with your demon? Like, hey, I, I see what you're trying to do, man. You don't have to be so forceful about it. Just, you know, like, slip me some, uh, slip me some immortality and, the, <laughs> and uh, you know, I'll do your bidding. <laughs> I'm just laughing and have my eyes closed. You guys can't see this. I'm just like, oh, God. <laughs> shaking the head, shaking the I head. I think that is the ideal notion of what people go for. Yeah. I think this thing has been around me for years. Sorry, that was my knuckles has been around me for years and I've just gotten extremely used to it because I definitely noticed when it wasn't around mm. and I was a little bit sad so now that oh. it's back I'm just like oh okay yeah hello so, again so what is it what is it attached to I have no idea I keep thinking it's this thing the lamp or the rosary the rosary um, I'm pretty sure that rosary came I think I took it from my grandma's house. Oh. And my grandma's house has a very interesting history in juju factor mixed in there. Yeah. Um, and it's been with me ever since. I've always had it. I, you know what I wonder? Except for when I was in Texas. I wonder if I have my grandpa's spirit here. I wonder if that's what I'm seeing. You, you, that would make sense in the bathroom because we have your grandpa's cross in there. Yeah. I wonder if that's what he meant when he was doing that thing with his nose. Uh, oh my gosh. He's self mind blowing. Sorry. Yeah. I, but I, yeah. But I I really do think that there's separate things because I I see. Um, I do see like a white object. Um, it looks like it's a reflective light. Sometimes, sometimes it looks more like a um. A misty thing. It's, I see the misty things all the time. Yeah, and I see it a lot in like the kitchen, the dining room, and in the guest bathroom. Yeah. Um. I've and, seen it in there and in the kitchen. And the other things that I feel are our bedroom, closet, and our bathroom. And I've been growled at here? here. Yes, I've been growled at here, and I laughed, and I thought it was hilarious. Probably why we get along so well. <laughs> um, but yeah, it didn't. I it didn't really bother me, but it happened. Actually, I was sitting in your spot, and it happened right next to me. Oh, weird. The growl. Yeah. It's pretty loud. That's weird. But okay. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll just keep my eye out and ear out for that. But those. I'm thinking it's the rosary because every time I just fixed it last night, but every single time the rosary is flipped around backwards. Oh, 
every single time. No matter how many times... You mean the crucifix? Yeah. Yeah. All of it, it will be completely backwards. No, and I, I'll always fix it, and I'll come back in a couple days, and it'll be, it'll be flipped back over. Ugh. That's weird. Yeah. And I mean, we have no kids. There's yeah, no, no reason there's for no, it to be. Yeah, no, there's nobody that lives here except me and you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just us. Oh, man. Uh, you keep looking around you like you're expecting to get jumped. Yeah, now I'm like, <laughs> now I'm paranoid, man. I'm like looking at shit. Oh, well, it's going to leave you. I'll leave you alone. Anyways. You're fine. Okay. Um, so... Uh, we should talk about the new um, the new story, The Lighter, which you've now... He- I've read to you, but you haven't heard the actual production of it. So, but, but anyways, um, what did you, what did you think of the story? I know it was, it was very short, and there seemed like there could have been more, but like, what did you, th- what did you think of uh, the overall kind of idea? I, I really liked it. Yeah? It was different in a good way because sometimes people write things close together and it has the same flow and the same type of feel to it I see and it was very different and I really like that okay so I don't know it just felt like it almost felt like a totally different author. Maybe you could just be like a <laughs> bipolar, multi personality author. I don't know. It was very interesting. Ooh, that's a good. That's a good idea. <laughs> By the way, a bipolar multi personality author. I just think like like you oh, are pretending to be an author, but he has all those issues, and he's an author. Yeah. Like he's a character writing your books. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. That would be that would be interesting. But that'd be well, interesting. that'd be interesting for a book. Like It'd be interesting for a book or how you handle things. Cause I just feel like a lot of people get sucked into the one thing that made them, you know, on everybody's radar. Yeah. And then they're stuck doing that because <laughs> that's what everybody wants from them. I and see. I'm like, that's so that's so shitty. Well, that's why people have. Um, that's why people have their, uh, what do you call it, uh, their ghost writers? Not ghost writers. Um, uh, Stephen King's was Richard Bachman, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he wrote Thinner. Yeah, I know. I'm just... Um, so... But I, I really liked it. It was a great pace. Um, I want more of it. I'm not going to lie. You want more of it? I want more. It was, it was really good. Okay. Well, I think I will write more of it. I think there will be more cuz I don't know, it left on a kind of it left on a a note that could have definitely kept going. Like I it's definitely one of those stories that's going to start right where the other one left off if I do continue. I think instead of it being like a start to finish book, I think it should almost be like a weekly or a monthly update thing instead of it being just start finish book. Well, to be honest with you, and to be honest with everybody else, I think that's probably what's going to happen with Across the Creek. I think it's going to turn okay. into like a serial kind of thing. So I could have, I could have two series going at the same time. We can do the the lighter series and then uh, Across the Creek series, and peppered in. Every so often, I can put out um, little okay. little parts of spiders. I don't know. I just feel like Ralphie, you know, waiting for his oval team thing to like come oh. out on <laughs> on the, on the radio, like dial in and Yo, oh. Like, oh, what's going on now? Oh, this you're, time. I, I see what you're saying. That's kind of how it it felt, and I I just I loved it. Okay. That was amazing. Yeah, um, and I've learned that, that there's a community out there of people who do this kind of thing. Like, they have their own series and, and uh, so yeah, it's great. It's great to uh, to be a part of that and to uh, contribute something, because I, f- I feel like it's, you know, it's getting stuff out of my mind, and um, I don't know. I've, I, I hope if you've listened to it that you've enjoyed it, because I don't know, it's fun for me, and it's nice to see that I can 
make something out of nothing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I I wanted to elaborate a little bit on the on the story, the lighter. Um, as I said in the intro of the story, that it was uh, it was based on a writing prompt, where I only had like four requirements. So uh, the the story, the main character of the story, doesn't even have a name. If you've noticed, I don't know if you noticed that. Um, but I left out parts of the story intentionally because it was told in first person. And when you're speaking in first person, unless you're introducing yourself, um, you don't really say your name ever. So this guy, he was kind of secretive, like he didn't really want people to know who he was because he was going traveling through time and uh you know he didn't want to like blow his cover because he was with this girl in a hotel um so he had he didn't really have any reason to introduce himself so he has no name throughout the whole story um and sure i could have had the parents call out to their son throughout the whole uh you know when he goes back in time and sees himself as a five-year-old I could have had the parents talking and mentioning his name, but why? Like, why do that? Like, I could have... I, I like the way I kept it. Um, how it's just... It adds just, like, a mystery to the whole thing. Like, there's... You don't know what his name is, but you know who his character is. Mm -hmm. Like, you know him through his actions, not because of what his name is. Right. So, I, I wanted to keep it like that. And, um... Like you'd mentioned before, when I asked her about, um, I asked her ab about it after I had read it to her, and she had mentioned that uh, that when Tony had his parents uh, on their knees, that he that he had a gun, and I said that Tony never had a gun, had never mentioned that he had a gun, but it was implied that he had a gun. Um, so I, I I left things vague to kind of like let your your mind kind of like fill in fill in gaps that uh, that I'd, I thought that didn't really need explaining because like I said it was in first person perspective so it, he's kind of retelling events that happened to him and you don't really know that until the end of the story when you find out that he's talking to somebody about this girl um, but yeah he's uh, he's kind of retelling events that happened to him from uh from one point in time to currently. And I think that's how it's going to continue to go if I continue the story. And I, I don't think, I don't know, I don't think there's going to be too many parts of it. I think it'll have an end and then I'll start something new. Mm -hmm. Like, um, so. Yeah, it's, it needs to be a little short and sweet. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe like three, three parts total. Mm -hmm. Three parts total, make it a trilogy. So the lighter trilogy. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. It's planned in the works. So that's what that's what's gonna happen. Trilogy. Um, yeah, the Across the Creek series. I don't know how long that's gonna be. I have a feeling that one's gonna be a lot longer. I just think there's more to, more about that story. To, to, unexp to explain. Well, it's written differently. It's not yeah. it's not written in first person's perspective. It's written like a book. So it's going to be as long as a book, I'm sure. Or at least as long as a, as a novel, you know, as a novel can be. I'm guessing... I don't want to throw too many numbers around, but I'm guessing maybe around 200 pages. 200 pages, if I had to guess. How long was Spiders? Like 260? Yeah. Spiders is 260 pages, so that, that's going to be a, a, a long one. I think the last time I checked it was like 78,000 words. Yeah. So, I don't know. How long have we been going? I don't even know. Forever. It seems like it. Oh, yeah, we've been going on for an hour and 24 minutes. Okay. Well, you know, I think, I think now is a good time to cut it off. About an hour and a half seems about good. Yeah, I mean, you're going to take stuff out and... Maybe not a lot. I'll probably leave in most of this. No. I don't. I don't really want to edit anything out of these because you know what's the point in editing these? It's supposed to be a podcast. I don't want to like jip you guys okay. out of what well, you're gonna. 
out, out of content. Right. So, yeah, you get the whole thing. <laughs> Whether you want it or not. Candid! <laughs> Just kidding. It's like the shit that comes out of my mouth sometimes. Yeah, it's okay. I don't really want to have to sift through an hour and a half of all this stuff anyways. Have any idea how long that is? It's a long time of just sitting through this. I would have to, yeah, it's an hour and a half times however long it takes me to, like, cut and... No, that's not happening. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is not happening. It's going to print as soon as I hit stop. Um, well, anyways, thanks for joining us for this mm -hmm. podcast, and uh, we'll do another one next week, I'm sure. So, uh, see you then. Bye.